Hey, <laughs> welcome to the Ranger Rock Country Living Podcast. A little disorganized at the beginning there. I uh, had to use a different set of graphics, and I forgot. <laughs> and I forgot that the other one only counted out twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. So, yeah, welcome to Ranger Rock Country Living Podcast. Uh, we're on every week at six o'clock on Thursdays. Need to remind everybody that we also are a podcast, which is the audio version. So if you listen to um, uh, audio uh, on a oh small towns here, hey John, um, if you like to listen to uh, audio podcasts, uh, just use your favorite software. Type in a Ranger Rob Country Living Podcast, you'll find us because we're on all kinds of platforms, and uh, put us in your favorites, and you can listen to all of our 72, 72 um episodes so yeah just just getting there pretty good so um small town tourist is here watching us from uh arizona and uh he's gonna come up here in june unless he cancels <laughs> and uh um uh he's gonna do some filming for his show and we're gonna uh put him to work on the farm <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm trying to I, uh, I can have two uh, in my studio, so we'll get him to be uh, hopefully live in one of our shows, and it'll be kind of fun. Um, I want to make sure and introduce everybody. We got Rev from North Carolina. Did I say not South, but North, right? North yes, Carolina. Sir. Yep. And, of course, we have John Pearson, because uh, Rev won't tell us his real name and back, you know, all that stuff. It's, uh... Anyway, <laughs> uh, John Pearson from uh, Eugene, Oregon, and... Uh, we don't like him too well because he's got green grass. <laughs> well, both of you two have green grass. It's, yeah. it's disgusting because we're in high high desert up here, so we have a little different kind of growing situation. So we uh, always tease these two guys because their fields are getting green and flowers are blooming and you're starting to plant stuff. And John, by the way, you uh, sent some nice pictures of your uh, uh, homestead to us uh, video on your cell phone and just like oh my gosh that was a real real pretty right now yeah mindy mindy had taken some video and stuff yeah it's looking we had a nice sunny day so she had to go out and take advantage of it yeah it's it's that, starting to turn is that the only sunny day you've had <laughs> it, well it's not horrible right now it's cold outside it's just so cold gosh yeah. dang but yesterday was yesterday was a nice day Yesterday was a nice day. That's great. How's uh, how's um, Rev over there in North Carolina? What's the weather like over there? The weather in North Carolina is in the 60s, uh, low 70s during the day. It hasn't been that bad. I've been down in in Alabama. Um, It was nice and warm down there this week. Um, So uh, not too bad. Can't complain. Wow. Yes. Well, before we go any further here, if I can actually get organized with my graphics, we got to uh, find out. Question is, where is Rev today? Could he be in America? Could he be in another country or another state? Let's find out. So where is Rev today? Oh. Where is Rev today? Don't you guys want to take a guess? Uh, well, you kind of, I think you're, Kind of talking homeish, so I think you're home in North Carolina. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, trying to see the stars. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, um, no, I, I think you're home. I think you're home. Yeah, I'm on a streak right now. I think this is three weeks in a row I've been at the house. Wow. Yeah, I got. Yeah. I think Shane is giving me away. My dog. He keeps barking. Oh, I forgot and about the dog I'm too. Yeah. To get, I'm gonna have to get a dog on the road. Just to throw you guys off, I have to keep it going. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm at the house and I'm glad to be here. To tell you the truth, but I have been in Alabama this week and it was really beautiful. Um, wow, I like it down there. Hey, Alabama. Rev, what does your what does your job take you to? What 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 do you do? My job, I I'm a refrigeration tech. Um, I put refrigeration systems in grocery stores. Oh, nice. So I'm usually in the southeast, really. Um, I'm usually, you know, south of New York, all the way out to the Mississippi River, that big circle there, somewhere in that little, that little group uh, in the southeast. Gotcha, gotcha, nice. I like, I like Jack's answer. <laughs> Rev is out to lunch. Says Rev is out to lunch. 
<laughs> we got we got Jack here. We got um, small town uh, tourist, which is John Smith, and uh, and they're all harassing each other. <laughs> Good job, guys. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, a lot of uh, a lot of people in our comments know each other because they've been in the show, and they, so sometimes I would look at the side here and I realize they're talking to each other, not even talking to <laughs> us. <laughs> so, uh, That's their way to catch up. Yep. Yep. So I got to tell you that I, I got late to getting set up early because I take notes to do the show and stuff. I started watching my YouTube kind of, I do news briefs from different di redacted or I'm watching a little bit of Fox or something. And today's news was just terrible. I mean, just stuff was just a bunch of BS. And I, I and I couldn't, I, and I kind of got sucked in trying to understand it. Like, they're indicting Trump and they're doing all of these things. And um, it's like, it's just insane. And of course, everything's going to Ukraine and stuff. And, and you know, that stuff can just really not ruin your, your mood really quick. <laughs> anyway, but today it just seemed really bad. There's a lot of crap and banks having problems, all that. So the dollar um, is going to China, you know? Yeah. So I, the big thing is like, uh, I always hope that we're inspiration to kind of keep going. It's like, you can't, you know, you can't stop. You can't let this stuff get under your skin. You may be having bad times and stuff. You got to keep bouncing back. Just keep bouncing back. Um, you know, have good days and bad days and don't let the world get to, but it, it, I can see how easy it could be for some people to really get bent out of shape um, on that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, so I hope our channel, I hope our show is kind of gets people back, kind of back to home growing and stuff, and let the world do what it's do and do the you know, do what's going to do, and have us do our best to just make ends meet. You know, <laughs> but go. Yeah, ult ultimately today is all we have, and so let's make it the best today. You know, Mindy and I, we don't watch news anymore. We just don't. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's depressing. It's infuriating. Raises my blood pressure. I yelling. I fuck I look like an idiot yelling and screaming at the TV like I'm going to make them hear me, you know. So today's all you got. Make it the best today, you know. I agree. Um, I, I even think my little bit of couple of – and I don't even watch shows. I watch them pre – like Fox, when it comes to Fox News, that, that's the one I watch. I just watch the YouTube version and only watch the reports I want to hear about. Mm -hmm. So I don't leave it on like CNN or something and – have it on all day. I don't do any of that. I quit doing that years ago. But but if I want to get kind of caught up, like what kind of crap's going on today, I can get it really quick. And then so it can I could be bummed out a lot faster than most people. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I will tell you some of the happy news that's going on around here. Um I uh I had some bad stuff happen. I'll just say that, but I'm bouncing back. Um I'm turning a bad scenario into good. Um uh, but uh, but beyond that, we're going to go beyond that. Uh, I have pigs coming pretty soon. So uh, next month, I think uh, Maggie, my biggest pig, <laughs> the monster, I think she's going to be the first one to have her piglets. Um, and then Zelda, she probably uh, three or four weeks behind her. And I uh, have two new feraling things so I can split them up and they'll have uh, really good facilities for the babies and it's just i'm excited to we put a lot of work into that area and into the new uh feraling and stuff and then it's going to go um be tested here next month and i can't wait to test it so it'll be cute so if you're interested people that are watching or you're interested in getting a um i'll get this there you're not out to lunch anymore Rev. um <laughs> uh, if you're interested in having getting a piglet and like to raise your own pig um um uh, We'll have them. It's usually, they have to be eight weeks old. So we, if they're boys, we have to make sure and have time to castrate them for you. Oh. Um, um, and uh, did, I say that? did I say that right? <laughs> um, and uh, you, so within eight weeks, we can give you know sell the pig to you, and you can take it home and raise your own. Uh, and we also do the custom uh, raising for people that. Um, yeah, Jack, I had a feeling we're going to get a comment on from you from Trump. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, I don't usually show too much political stuff on here, but yeah, um, uh, he's as avid as I am about some of this stuff. 
Um, but anyway, so if you're interested in having us raise your pigs, we can do that. It's a whole different formula. Uh, you know, you have to cover our cost and feed, and then you also cover the cost of processing and, and dispatch of the pig and stuff. But uh, we just got done doing it last week for a client. And she, in fact, she came over today uh, to finish up her billing. She was, she said it was the funnest, funnest experience she's ever had. Uh, she, um, her name was Susan and she came over almost every month was, uh, during the uh, winter it was kind of cold. So, but she brought her kids over to get the pet, the pigs, they got to see the pigs, uh, we had her husband over one, uh, the, the week before we, uh, processed them, she came over and fed them, pit, uh, carrots and stuff and, uh, gave them names. Uh, and so once they, they're named by our clients, that's the name of the pig. And so, uh, uh, anyway, it was a fun experience. She made the scenario how I envisioned it, where people raise their own pigs, and even though they may live in the city or they can't raise their own pigs, they could be get involved. They could come over and physically see the pig, play with the pig, scratch its ears, rub its nose. It was a the perfect scenario of having a pig and like being involved, but not growing it at your own home. That was. Um, it was picture perfect. And so that was a great experience. We got them all uh, butchered three pigs last week. And uh, um, yeah. And um, after that, we have a couple you know, pigs being processed at different times, but all those pigs are ours um, and they're going to be USDA cut. So um, it's a little different process there where we have to put them in a the trailer and take them to a processing plant and, and pretty soon, uh, the the next big news is Central Oregon Online is going to come online. This is uh, the website, but you guys can't see it yet. But Central Oregon Grown, uh, the new um, website is coming along. You can see uh, it has a shopping cart in it, and um, it's gonna looks like a website. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, yeah, classy. Yeah. Um, and it has a shopping cart in it, so it's not loaded with products too much. But uh, if you go into the shopping cart version, uh, this is a software that's designed by a barn door company. And uh, you will have different kind of packages, like 10-pound packages. You can do a subscription for once a month. Uh, we're selling within a 50-mile radius at first um, and will deliver to your house. I'm, but it'll save you money if you just come to come to our place and pick up your own meat. Um, and we're setting up kind of a display area with all of our uh, uh, different freezers and, and make it easy to find what you want to get for uh, uh, pork and stuff like that. But uh, it's coming along. That's um, great. And uh, so, yeah, I just want to make sure people realize I, uh, um, I'm just, I, I've been telling the story, but there's been nothing physically to go look at. And of course, my software froze up. But um, you're back. Yeah. That's uh, that's the the news on that. So that's great. By the way, if you that's live nice. in Central Oregon, by the way, um, if you're looking for freezers, I just bought two new freezers, uh, seven cubic foot ones, uh, for a hundred ninety nine dollars are in sale at Buy Mart. So if you're in our area and you're looking for freezers. Um, they have some smaller freezers, uh, like 3.5s and stuff like that. But um, we we want different freezers, small freezers, so we can kind of break up like this one has all the sausage, this one has all the bacon, whatever you want to do. So when people come over, they can pick out what they want. And we have a, our big shop. We have three door uh, main doors in uh, one of the main uh, lots or um parking areas it would be just uh, nothing but freezers <laughs> so in a way station and stuff like that but uh, but all everything can be integrated with the website so um even our transactions for credit cards and stuff all tie into the website so it handles our inventory and stuff like that and so yeah we're pretty excited i got a lot to learn but uh yeah um Looks yeah good. i don't don't know about the I, I don't have the answers to like like Jack's question um, uh, when we're going to be prepared to do shipping. Um, it's harder than you think because first of all, you got to have specialized boxes that will you know, keep cold, and two, uh, 
those kind of boxes are expensive. And the other is, uh, you know, when it comes to ice, do I, um, do I have to stick with dry ice or can I use regular ice? And if I can use, I've seen regular ice used because I get butcher box and stuff. <clears throat> um, uh, do I buy an ice machine for, uh, you know, the, the, the farm or not and stuff like that. So we have some unanswered questions yet, but uh, we need to start somewhere. And so we're doing the 50 mile radius at first because we need to learn how to do all the processes and uh, learn how to ship and how to package and all that stuff. So, so we got uh, growing pains, <laughs> but that's it guys. It's, it's coming along. Moving, <laughs> moving forward. Yep. And then uh, another thing uh, here is yesterday um, I was uh, contact. Uh, you guys know the software next door. I don't know yeah. everybody. Yeah. Anyway, so somebody on the ranch over here was uh, saying, "I'd like to. Uh, yes, this, I'd like to do some stuff in hydroponics. Do you know anybody in Central Oregon uh, that knows about hydroponics?" Well, a whole bunch of people lit up the screen. It's like contact Ranger Rob, <laughs> and, which I was very grateful. And uh, so uh, they got a hold of me, and they came to the farm yesterday. So it was two couples, and. Uh, uh, it was a really good tour. So we went through all the different systems we had. We love to give tours. They actually spent three hours here. Um, wow. And uh, it was fun. And they got to see the pigs too. They didn't realize I had Idaho pasture pigs. So, um, uh, so you know, it was just a really good experience. I love it when we can show people some new ideas and stuff. And it's not, a, we don't charge or anything. We just, uh, all we ask is just try to, you know, stay in contact with us and make sure that it's a um um you know that it fits our schedule and uh yeah and we love to show people around we're we're not after their wallets we're just after them getting growing and doing things that are you know uh, good for the environment and all that so we're very happy that's awesome but when i did the tour you know everything looks like hell like this time of year because the greenhouse is all brown <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's green, and so I always tell them, you have to use your imagination. But what I, the lucky thing about this is, once you come and do a tour, you can go on our videos from six months ago, and you can see what it looked like. And uh, uh, so we hope we inspire people. And uh, uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, but I can't. I can't build a chicken tractor as nice as John Pearson. It's a very good point. I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty nice chicken tractor. <laughs> I do my, have uh, one, one question about your chicken tractor, John. You do do both do both does the top open up on both ends? No, nope, just one end. The the only problem I have a chicken tractor that's kind of similar to that, maybe not quite as nice, but still similar. Um and when it came time for harvesting. Rapid. I had to crawl in there. I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. And I'm setting up. I'm working on a, a deal. I still have a few weeks before. My birds come in about four days, five days. and But they're going to be three weeks inside minimum. So I have about three weeks. I'm going to devise a means of running a couple of rods along the side with I don't know, even if it's just a PVC with a fishnet type of deal that I can pull both rods and scoot them towards the open <laughs> door. You know what I mean? I that if I, if I pull each side and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I think I got it dialed in. I might work on that this weekend. But, um, yeah, I know I know what you mean, because nobody wants to be hugged and petted in a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go in there. But, so uh, uh, Sheraton Farms did a video of a comparison between the that's considered the uh, uh, one blank. Uh, who's our who's the guy we all follow over in uh, uh, Revs area? Um, so the land, yeah, yeah. Um, Jason. yeah we uh, he he kind of designed that hit the same kind that John built. And then uh, there's another guy who builds them where they're uh, 
more like a, a tent kind of design that are mobile tracking and you can stand up in them. And he was comparing them, you know, the convenience because he built both. And uh, so the sole, the one you got is Polyface Farms is, is kind of design that you got, John. And so Polyface Farms, his complaint was, especially our age, is it like say you get a dead bird or something goes wrong in the backside? Sure. Is you got to get down and 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 it's so low to ground that you got to crawl around and all that, and uh, it's really hard to get to. Uh, if I if I have a dead bird, mine's an eight by eight, so uh-huh. I have what's called the loving hook on a, <laughs> yeah. and I will hug that chicken with a loving hook on a stick, and I will manage to get it out. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, anyway, that was his, one of his com- his complaints. Was I'm not climbing for, in. For yeah, for the fact that he said he used to grant, have to go, get a grandchild and help him out if he had some problem you know, with his I, chicken I, I, tractor. Yeah, I watched one the other day, and a guy had a very similar to what you know I have, and I've seen them different ways. And I, you know, like I said, like I always say, is when I build something, I'm generally copying somebody else's ideas and hope hopefully it pans out um but uh they you know they, they just the, the way they uh had it set up they said that you know if they on the day of processing they hold they hold the food back so that the craw is not full right but if you put feed right up there by the front when you're actually pulling them right there and you have it right next to where you're processing and everything you can pretty much draw any hungry bird to the feed and grab them. No, no, <laughs> you try. That's not the way it worked for me. No, after about <laughs> after you grab about four or five of them, the chickens are like running to they the know. other side. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, just, I, a, just a thought. I like that's I, just the way it happened for me. You know, I was I was watching, and of course, we always just rattle off different you know YouTube channels and stuff. But just a few acres, Pete. He's got a tra- uh, trailer set up. And he puts all his birds in the trailer and he takes them out to where he's going to process them. And, and he's got a rail system where he pulls them forward and they, you know, they all have to kind of creep yeah. forward, forward to where he's at. And that's, that's what I'm going to try to do because I, I, I can see that being a, uh, an issue. I'm thinking about something similar, except for just making a stand out of plywood, unscrewing the far side, dropping it in there and then just rolling the the whole tractor, uh, you know, away from or towards that stand, so that so the chicken well, doesn't you know where what? to go. That's not, a, that's not a bad idea. That's not Something a bad like idea. That. Yeah, because uh, my chicken tractor is the design of a uh, uh, living traditions, and which is our um, uh, ca- cattle panel type design. Um, mm-hmm. So it's a it's a hoop coop type of thing, but it's low to the ground. Um, and I don't have wheels on it and I've had chickens in there before and you got to be really careful when you're moving that forward because the chickens will get their feet caught in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So as you're dragging it. So, um, yeah, the, the, the one guy I was watching and I don't remember who he was. I, I feel bad cause I should give a little credit to him, but he showed, he showed as the birds were getting older and they were, or even the, when they were young, as he's moving it, he puts the feed down, moves it a little bit, puts, you know, pulls the feed back and they, and they're, they're drawn to the feed to the front of the, of the track. Yeah. We, that, 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 now that one is true. That one is true. Or you, or you put your wife at the far end of the tractor and she kicks the cage a little bit, you know, that yeah. one works as well. But when it comes down to, you know, they're seeing, uh, they're seeing Larry hanging upside down over there. on that stand. <laughs> and they kind of, they kind of catch the drift. You know what I mean? <laughs> It doesn't take yeah. them long. Hey, and, and you can hear them talking to each other. Hey, Larry, is that really a hug phone? <laughs> <laughs> like, I've Why never is it had me tw- standing here. You know, I, I've never had twenty-five chickens in my chicken tractor before, so it's going to be really interesting to see if I can not hurt my chickens as I'm moving it. So, and we'll we'll get that on our video and stuff like that. But um, uh, everybody that I, I think are um we did i know i I know i was telling people we're processing but we um we had cinder butte come out and do our pigs is we and the biggest thing i was really impressed with if you saw the video uh, yesterday is the guy that was processing the pigs was only 20 years old and he uh he was amazing 
I mean, how many 20 year olds do you see anymore that can do farm stuff like that? So um, he came in and I'll tell you, I, I will tell you how we uh, took care of those pigs, but he comes in with a 22 he does, and he shoots between the eyes, but he doesn't pull that trigger till it's exactly where he wants it. Yeah. And every time he did that, it was done and over with right then and there. Yeah. No suffering, nothing. He did yeah. such a perfect job. I was fun. so proud of, of the fact that that's how homesteads are. We're not only raising really good meat, um, and, it, and it goes for chickens or anything we're doing, uh, but the fact is we uh, also, they live a great life, and they only have one bad day, and it's only for a second. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, that, that's the, the, four, the four that I did last year, um, the way I was told by a buddy of mine, is imaginary line from the ear to the eye, from the ear to the eye, and then right there at that crossing point. And yep. all, all four of mine, I had absolutely no issue. They just dropped straight to the ground, and, and that was it. No more. Yeah, yeah that was so, it such was, a relief. Uh, it, was, it was reassuring for me, anyway. Mm -hmm. Because I promised to myself, and I, and I tell the shooter, you know, to tell the processor, is like, dude, you do it right. Take your time. I'm not in a hurry. I don't care if it takes all day until you take the shot. And, uh, but yeah, he was great. And, uh, so, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I urge our listeners and I, we, most of our listeners right, we get after the show's over is do a search on how, how, um, uh, commercial, uh, pigs are taken care of or dispatched and it'll make you sick, it, sick to your stomach. It, it, it really does. I couldn't even watch the videos and I raise pigs <laughs> for goodness sakes, you know, no, and, it's, and, um, it's, it's awful. And, uh, not just pigs, uh, other even chickens and stuff. And yeah, so if you can get your feed from, I uh, get your, uh, animals from people like John and, and Rev here and myself, they're raising the pigs and, um, and we were promising that we're doing the best job possible. Um, believe me, you'll, you'll sleep at night knowing that because the stuff you're buying at Safeway, the things you're getting at Albertsons, wherever you're going, that chicken, that pork and stuff, they're the ones that are dispatching these animals and, and doing it in terrible, terrible nightmarish ways. And, uh, uh, you shouldn't sleep at night if you know you're buying your meat from a grocery store and stuff when you have the chance of getting homegrown or locally grown, uh, uh, our way because we're the animals are so much healthier and the animals are happier and they're not suffering and um yeah it, it it's it's that important guys so yeah. it might cost a little more but it's worth it yeah you know it's 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 kind of funny when you think about it because you know when i was uh the other day uh oh last week or the week before we we're saying, hey, what do we all want to talk about kind of thing? My son chimed in. I, I told Chris that I was uh, thinking about, you know, topics and stuff. And he said, you know, you ought to eventually talk about a topic of how do you draw that line between, you know, a pet and, a, and an animal to, to process. And the thing of it is, is I, I love the pigs that I have. Yeah. Uh, and, and I know going in that they're not going to be forever pets. But they are treated and fed and played with and scratched and loved like family pets um, until until the time that that they're not. So I like Jack's comment. What do you say? <laughs> all, <right. laughs> all the Marines the ship to California. I'm working it. I'm working it. This thing oh, takes man. time. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's uh um now. Uh, um, yeah, I, I was just so relieved. I felt so proud of my homestead or ranch or farm of how that turned out. I'm going, I want, I wish I could film it, and, and, but it's not for everybody to see. Um, but, um, if you really need to know the, uh, why it's important to buy locally and uh, your local beef or local pigs or whatever, um, uh, that is all the reason right there. And including the the ear scratches and the rubbing of the noses and bellies. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, uh, it just made, I mean, I just, 
because butcher day, I feel bad. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, those three little pigs have been scratching their noses and ears and it's time. This is the day, you know, and, and, uh, and then I got this promise to myself is going to be quick and furious. And, and it was, it was perfect. And so uh, I was really proud of that. So I want to welcome uh, Good Eats Homestead. Welcome to the show. And he's saying hello to uh, everybody. Um, Ranger Rob and John and Rev. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, where are you from, Good Eats? I think I showed it before. I can't remember if he uh, told us where they're from. Because, you know, we want to make fun of your state. <laughs> That's where we harass our different states. You know what? Here's the deal. We're not getting political, but they could all harass Oregon. And I would agree with every word you said. Totally. Political. <laughs> I love where I live. And I, this is my, this is my paradise where I'm, where I'm at. And I'm, and I make it that, but oh my goodness. Not I'm political. Texas. Big old oh, Texas. Texas. Nice. Walk lightly. <laughs> Walk lightly, boys. We don't want any trouble. <laughs> That's right. Those guys know how to settle a dispute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice cup. No, absolutely. I, I got I this. Got ugly, uh, I got an ugly cup. I didn't even bring a good cup. Look at you guys. Nice cup. I got to send one to Rev. Otherwise, he's going to think you, I don't love him. You guys got matching cups, matching backgrounds, matching shirts. I mean, uh, you guys got to let somebody know. You know, hey, you wore plaid. And hey, what are you wearing? He said checks, and I said you got it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you grow up, Rev, you can have one too. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> oh um, my god! I cannot wait. <laughs> Good eats also says hi to Jack. Um, and uh, yeah, so nice to have you guys, uh, Texas. So. Uh, I'm I'm sure that they're really happy with the border crisis down there. So everything's good. <laughs> A little political. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, so um uh do we have any shout outs? I have I have one, but oh, it's gonna wait be a minute. It's time for Ranger Rob shout outs. Yes, this is the time we want to recognize businesses, websites, and services. Here's today's spotlights. Well at the ranch. <laughs> So what's your shout out, dude? So my shout out today, it's it's personal, but uh today right. is my son Tim's 36th birthday. He's wow. uh that makes uh, you 30, really old. Yeah, 36 years ago today. He changed uh my wife's and my life forever. And uh mm. uh yep. yep. So shout out to Tim Persons. Happy birthday, buddy. We love you. Cool. And uh, you know, it's funny because I the the place I work here in, in town, uh they started singing happy birthday in the break room and I didn't know what was going on. And I said, Oh, and, and, uh, there was another guy at our shop, Jimmy Chieftain. He, his birthday was today. And then there was another gal at our shop, Molly wow. LaJoy. Her birthday was today. It's like, gosh, dang it. You know what? Nine months prior to this particular date, there was some busy people. Yeah. <laughs> the moon's uh, looking in line. Isn't your son, uh, Tim, uh, doesn't he have a little homestead? Um, no, Chris, my youngest son, oh, Chris. Chris, he's got 10 acres. Tim's got an acre down in... Well, how come Chris isn't on the no, show? Oh, Roseburg. Rob, you know where Roseburg is. Tim lives in mm -hmm. Roseburg. Um, Chris has uh, 10 acres, uh, just probably 20 minutes away from me. So Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell, him, tell him if you'd like to be in the show. We'd love to have him. Oh, I'll, just, I'll do that. Maybe I can like, scoot what? over and have him sit next to me. He's a giant compared to me. So. Yeah, well, he can just click on the link and do it from his house and his laptop. His 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 beard still has color. <laughs> yeah, I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get uh, looking like Burl Ives. <laughs> <laughs> There's Christopher right there. Hey! We just watch. We're talking about you, Chris. Come on, on. I just watch. <laughs> One of these days you get brave, we'd like to have you. It'd be fun. Come on, Chris. We need, we need some young blood. That's what we bring Rev in here so we can harass him. <laughs> I'm 48. I'm not, I'm not young enough. To You're young me. blood. I'm all right. I'll take it. When I was in my 40s, that was probably my favorite decade. I had All the kids were growing up. And <laughs> went empty nesting and life changed big time. Yeah. Yeah. 
I started turn- early so I could have a, a cleared house. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so if people need a description of what it's like turning 50 or 60, it just compare it to your cars. Like uh, when the check engine light comes on, you, you turn 50. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Um, let's see, you got uh, so you haven't got your baby chick yet, John, right? No, they're coming on the fifth. The fifth, okay, you, they're coming what, in. and it's 25 or 50. Uh, actually, I ordered 54. I'm splitting them with a buddy at work, so I'm oh, gonna that's get right. Them. Yeah, I thought it was hopefully, you know, hopefully they all come good and healthy and all that kind of good stuff. Hey, I was gonna ask you, did your extra, did your extra 100 gallon make the difference? Oh, uh, for about a week. <laughs> And then they decided to grow double size. Are they and, uh, are they getting ready to go outside or? I what? think so because uh, those uh, uh, red rangers they're growing like crazy, wow. and uh, I was just kind of looking at them and I'm going, I'd love to get them out of there now because they're, um, it's pretty much twelve or thirteen per hundred gallon, um, uh, one of those water drops, mm-hmm. and. Uh, uh yeah they're just uh they're, they're just i've never seen chickens grow so fast yeah. it's just amazing yeah. uh but they're pigs they're i built uh i built a three foot by six foot and yeah, I'm, hoping, nice. I'm hoping it'll work for 26 birds for three weeks anyway because after that they're going outside yeah it'll, it'll it'll be fine so so i uh john sent a picture of his brooding house that he built and uh it was really good looking Design. If Rev ever, ever 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 got on Facebook, we could you know include them in all these pictures we send around. But Facebook is control. I don't want it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't play. I don't play. Yeah. Hey, look at this. I was wondering when they were coming. There they are. Hey. Hi. You guys all right? Um, no. <laughs> <They're> all... <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey okay? guys! Hey. Yeah, we got go. we got sidetracked on a project, and John just says, "Is it time?" I go, "Shit!" <laughs> yeah. I was I did kind of the same thing before the starting the show. I was like watching some stuff. A gal tell 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 your husband do not watch Fox News tonight because it's bad news. <laughs> just, he <laughs> watches news. Fox twenty four seven. I know. <laughs> Tell them, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, yeah. It's, these people are ridiculous. And that's being nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what are you guys working on that's so important? More important than the show. The top, the, one of the topics we're going to talk about tonight. Well, go ahead. Uh-huh. What's your, what's I am top? getting spring fever so bad that <laughs> I cannot wait to start seeds. So I started them. And... John got me some grow lights, so I bought some shelves, and we were putting those together. And when he's in Oklahoma, or going to Oklahoma, mm. I'm going to be putting those together. Yeah, so now right. you can grow your marijuana, no pro- I mean, uh, your flowers, no problem. That's right. <laughs> God, why do you always got to tell my secrets? You're so rude. That's why you're so you happy all the time. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's kind of funny. Is I, I have a, a growing room, and so we use those uh, pink long lights uh, like you see in uh, Living Traditions. They're the same lights, and it my whole house of the back of the house turns pink, and so my neighbors I know they see nothing but pink when yep. they look. They over know here. you're growing. Yeah, <laughs> you're, either, you're either growing or there's something funky going on in that. Yeah, you got right. an adult bookstore in there. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we tell the um but I yeah that the, was a red light. The green light is <laughs> red or green. <laughs> like the green room is is quite pink all um most of uh spring. <laughs> so ah but yeah. Um so are they up and running? Did you get it all hooked up? No, we're still working on it. Oh that would be nice when that's it's done. John yep, that's where John is. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> If he comes around the corner smoking, I'm going to give him a hard time. <laughs> what are you smoking? 
I like how he talks about himself in the third person. That's where John is. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? So uh, uh, they, you guys have quite the adventures because you're going to Portland for not good reasons, but to uh, Portland over the weekend uh, for family sadness. Um, and then John has to go all the way to Oklahoma. And he's for family, uh, for family, <laughs> taking doing something happy for that family, but not so happy for him. But he's helping out with a, with a move. So you yeah, guys have he's uh, helping my daughter of... move to Oklahoma. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So yeah. So and since I don't be... have the ch all these dang chickens set up <laughs> for automatic stuff yet, somebody's got to be here. <laughs> and I want you all to know. Yeah. <laughs> Why we're on the chicken subject that I brought up. Yes. That Mr. John is just as bad with chickens. Oh, I'm not. Yes. You are. <laughs> he, just went, he just went and ordered nine more chickens. What kind? He had to. He had to. He had <laughs> no, to. he did not have to. Yeah, he did. I trust that he had to for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it was pretty well, important. Too. Okay. He might this much because... The sad news is the one that hatched, I had to put it in freezer camp. I it had the splay legs, and they were all the way. They, he was doing poor thing was doing the splits, huh. and so I went to three different stores. I think it was to find the splints to bring his legs back together so he could stand on it. Nobody has them. You have to order them online. By the time they get online, the poor guys. Gonna starve to death. Yeah, and Debbie won't work for me. I just told her to use duct tape. I'm not gonna use duct tape because then <laughs> when you go to take it off, it's gonna no. <laughs> That's just no. It's wrong. <laughs> so, anyways, he wouldn't eat by himself either. So wow. I was feeding him about every 45 minutes because he would squawk. And to get him to drink water, I had to put it in my nail, and he'd drink it out of my nail. But I couldn't get him to do it on its own. Well, so and I, I did say I was going to take him to Portland with me and just baby him along. But the more I thought about it, every he's going to he's gonna take yeah. a baby chicken to a funeral. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> Molly McNugget in the freezer, huh? I said you put Molly McNugget in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> I sure did. I put, I got a but, uh, bag, uh, cut holes, and put it in the freezer. Wow. And just go to sleep. Now, was this an egg that you purchased or no? Yes. This that was a $50 the... bird <laughs> because I purchased six eggs and one of them hatched. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Sounds like a very good investment. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. So, um, I won't be going through that company again. They don't guarantee any other stuff. Mm. I mean, if they're going to sell six eggs, you would think that at least two or three would hatch. Yeah. But yeah. So, anyways, well, yeah. Well, and that's why John had to buy the buy the other chickens, though. That's why. That's right. To... Shut up, Reb. Yeah. That's exactly why he did it. <laughs> that's exactly why. But we didn't need nine of them. Sure. <laughs> oh. Well, your other percentage wasn't working very good either. You got to go. You got to go high. Yeah. You did not just say that. <laughs> Do you forget who you're living with? I think we're going to start a family squabble. <laughs> so I was supposed. I was also supposed to talk about uh, from notes from uh, uh, Amy suggested this stuff that um, the talk about the transition of going from spring to, uh, from winter to spring. And, and a lot of people were like, we're dealing with mud because it's like wet and all that kind of stuff. So one of her things she brought up, she goes, I'm sick of bringing dogs and animals into the house with muddy feet along with people. So a lot of you guys dealing with mud at all over there in the West yeah. side or anything? We don't have any dogs, but Mindy says the same thing to me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a mat by the door to take your shoes off. John does not take his shoes off. I can't find that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in full support of you John. You should feel sorry for me right now. 
Yeah, I get. I bought some muck boots, but they got um, treads on them. So a lot of times, I um, luckily uh, Cinder's got a swimming right, pool yeah. out in the backyard, and we can uh, rinse off our feet, you know. But um, I'm still tracking mud in the house occasionally, and sure, he the curses me every time. And uh, yeah, but yeah, it's mud. Three year old. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy says it very nicely. She says, somebody brought mud in and leaves. Well, she hasn't been outside, so there's a, <laughs> just a way of saying it. So Let's see. Uh, what was the other thing I brought up here? Um, um, a lot of people are doing garden preps. Even, even I am now. I've actually started working in the greenhouse. So, um, so I imagine all you guys, especially you, West Coast and uh, and uh, East Coast people are there. Uh, they're you're probably working on gardens already. Uh, you oh, know, yeah. I haven't done anything with uh, I haven't done anything out in the actual garden area. I'm getting ready. I went and got a load of real good dirt to blend in with some of the stuff that I have. Blend in with some where my uh, uh, corn was and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I am, but I, I am having pretty good success on my seeds. I, I've had great germination on all of my stuff. I probably let's see 60, 120. I got uh, 131 out of uh, 144 germination. So wow, yeah. Wow. yeah. When, mine when, look mine look really good with the picture in the front of the of the package, and that's the only thing that looks good about my seeds. Oh my God. I have tomato plants growing and lettuce. I did start those and they're doing good. You're going to die. Have, I do have a question. Rob! <laughs> I do have a question about the lights. How far are they supposed to be away from the plants? You know, they're obviously not supposed to touch them. And I don't know if, I'm sure there is an inch deal that they're supposed to be. But uh, I just I normally you know keep about four or five inches away from the from the plants. Mine too. And then you just do it until they get to a certain height, and then they you grow off. But to, to be honest, until it's warm enough outside for me to be able to take them outside and harden them off, I keep the lights going. Okay. okay. And that's 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 me. And, and I mine are on chains. I drop the chains down as far as they'll go, and then I creep the chain keep creeping the chains up and up and up but um if the weather was to change i would i would take them outside and slowly start to harden them off but until then no i yeah got... we just don't know what it's going to do i mean shoot what yesterday we had snow <laughs> yeah we're gonna, we, we have a low of of like 27 next week um on one of the days it's like this isn't ever stopping right yeah. Except for if you're Rev. Well, yeah. 60 and 70. What? <laughs> oh, no, I got it right. Here. Yeah. I, uh, I, it's not like I have control over, you know what I mean? I just I just know where to live. It's not my problem. You know well, I mean? you can send some of it our way. Yeah, for I, I mean. No, Rev, because Rev. that would that would take away from me. You know what Rev. I mean? I'm very selfish. That yeah. sounds kind of stingy yeah. to me. Yeah. It is so, very stingy. Very stingy. Yeah. <laughs> Revenue yeah, so I, I do. I have two in, two important announcements here before we go going farther. Is, uh, for a, a little bit of time for a little time. Uh, uh, Amy's going to be taking a break for about a month to get their house. They got a lot of processes and things going on, so she uh, asked. She says, "Don't. I'm not mad. I'm not. I just need a break and get caught up in things and all that." So uh, we're uh, we're happy to. Say that she's doing great, and she'll be uh, hopefully popping on next month or so, but uh, at, on her own speed. But um, it's, it's an overwhelming summer, uh, winter for just getting caught up in things. And so anyway, so uh, yeah, it's like please take a break and get caught up. And when you're feeling good, because it's hard to be in a good mood when you got a lot of stuff on your plate, you know. So that's true. Anyway, I thought that was sweet of her. Uh, the other thing is, I heard there was a package that came in. Am I right? Yeah. We have one oh. here. Yeah. And where did this package uh, come from? Mr. Rev. Mr. Rev. Sent, 
I remember Mr. Rev sent us this. a package. I remember something about this. I was totally drunk one day and I did this. Yeah, I no, didn't who? know what I was doing. I, was I shouldn't told have done not it. to say anything and I was told not to <laughs> open it until the podcast. <laughs> Well, yeah. I, well, so who's the, I was hoping to do it before the show because I didn't want to take away from, oh, from Rob's. Uh, hold on, let me. Oh, no, you're all in now, Rob. You do it on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. And it better not be green grass. No, no. Oh. no. And I wasn't drunk either, but. Uh, <laughs> we're all taking, we're taking bets. It's like, I bet you he sent to some <laughs> grass. Much, as, as no, I would never do that because grass. then then your pigs would never eat organ grass again. So I would not do we that. Don't get any. Don't <laughs> eat Oregon grass now. <laughs> so, so, so we allowed to open this package. Yeah, yeah. Open it up. Open it up. Do yeah, I so need this to package jump came back? from North no, Carolina. No, I wouldn't do that either. No. <laughs> and, it, it, and it's for all. It, is this for everybody <laughs> in the, on the show? Yeah, there should be something in there for everybody and their spouses, including Amy. Well, yeah. yeah. Good. Of course. So I, I will send yours to you, John. Their house will get all warm. Just North Carolina air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should bring the temperature up at least 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I sent you the, the, uh, the bunch of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said, do I need to jump back? I no, don't, don't, don't jump back. I heard they got snakes over there, too. We yeah. do have a lot of snakes. Oh, I'm never moving there. <laughs> there you go. Well, Hi, Al. Hi. Hey, there's, there he is. Blue. I did that already. Dun, dun, dun. So, yep. So, everybody, we got a mystery package here from Rev, guys. Here, get in here so they can see. <laughs> I'm standing back in case something jumps out. No, I would not do that to you. <laughs> that is not funny. There you go. <laughs> That is. <laughs> it is funny. Did you send us your dirty laundry? Yes. Uh, need, yeah, you need these socks washed by next week. Oh, look at that. Oh, awesome. Oh, my. Oh, neat. Hi. Wow. We get, we get merch. Merch. The oh. Oh. So, it, looks up, it looks just like that. Yeah, it that, does. That's uh, pretty cool. That's cool. That Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. I, uh, I know you guys are stylish enough, but I but, oh, you know, but I wanted to that's send them to quite you. fitting for us. No, oh, that's awesome. After the show, I'll get your address, John, and I'll put it in the mail. Well, I tell you what, Rev, that's a nice shirt, bud. Dang. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. It's, it's kind of a crazy story behind that shirt. I had those made right before we decided to move. I was going to sell them to the tourists when I played shows on the Outer Banks, but like as soon as I made the order, my wife said, let's pull the trigger and sell this place and, and move out to the country. And I was like, all right, you know, I'll just take the hit on the shirts. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> so I had a whole bunch of them, uh, uh, you know, in the closet. So, cool. uh, thank so, you. Uh, Appreciate uh, it. No That's problem cool. at all. No problem. My pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. And, uh, Matt, 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 I definitely got to send them a, a Ranger Rob cup. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah. want a cup, Remember, you want a too, cup or a hat? Rob? I'd rather have a hat, I guess. You want a hat? Yeah, I'm a hat guy. Can do. Well, thanks, Rob. John, did I send you a hat or just a cup? No, I got a hat. Good. I, I had many. I had many go online. I said he's got to have a place where you can buy merch. I mm. bought this, <laughs> but it makes it. It makes. I don't drink coffee, but it makes the content always taste better. Yeah, <laughs> like, I tell you, what do you mean you don't drink always... coffee? I'm sorry, Debbie. Please do not hate me. Oh, that's I've a always tough wanted one. To Pretty evil. Coffee because it was free everywhere growing up, you know, in all the wholesale houses and stuff. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> I want he, do, he just uh, make, drinks apple cider everywhere he goes. Well, that ain't the point. That, 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 that is true. Okay. Cheers to that. I, I, will, I, I will get a. I will get. I gotta get an address for uh, Rev. So, uh, when you give the address to uh, Debbie, make sure Debbie passes the address to me, and I'll send him a cup. Because he's official, he's gotta have a Range Rub something. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> cute underwear. <laughs> <laughs> They're crotchless. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go that far. 
<laughs> oh my god! And then you have to show the audience. Yeah, you know, that's right. Hey, thanks so much, Ron. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Let's see what else we got going on. So everybody's just starting seeds. Anybody got the starters or buying at the store? Is any of you guys' stores yeah, selling starters yet? Oh, the good. the local uh, the local home store here, Jerry's here in town. That's uh, they've got a couple of short, they're a pretty big store, but they have they have tomato. They have all the, it's all got to be inside because it's just too cold to be outside. Yeah, and they're on sale. I saw. That's I always saw, good. I saw. <laughs> Live plants over at Bymart uh, yesterday, so I was a little shocked seeing. I think that's the first live plants I've seen come over here in East Central Oregon. So, yeah, it's there's still some, too early. starters all over the place here in Carolina, of course. I bet. Yeah, well, they, uh, they can't Rob, even sit them outside with them. Rob, we can't plant until what June first, and that when snows off in Blackview. Actually, they say it's like June eighth. Oh no, I'm doing the first. Yeah. I we did our corn on the first of June last year and we uh we lucked out. There was no freezes, so and I'm gonna try to do it again. Yeah, every, every, everybody oh, shut up. Oh, at that time. Everybody <laughs> talks to in this area. Uh, <laughs> they do the most planting. So. <laughs> Incubator went off again. <laughs> oh my god. I see. Oh my guys, I'm running out of time. Uh, yeah. I gotta make sure I well, get that's, what John, that's what I was laughing at. I thought that's what John was saying. <laughs> John, you're not watching the time. <laughs> yeah, John, you're slipping. Well, it's... no cookie for you tonight. I, I hope we can get uh, offline uh, on time today because uh, uh, Reb was late with the graphics. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't that? even get to see the dang graphics. Oh, I know. I had to do different graphics today for a different um, intro, and I screwed it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will leave on watch. the rev. <laughs> so, um, are you now? Would your uh, I get asked real quick? You said you were doing lettuce, um, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Are you putting them outside yet, or are you? Oh, no, a, a I just barely planted them. Did you put them? I in have the them in the office. Oh, you have nothing outside. But lettuce does good cold, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, the lettuce that I yeah. did last year is still growing. It yeah. freezes and keeps on going. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. A little stretch no, and hard, but you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have anything outside. <laughs> yeah, I got, none of my gardens are cleaned up. I can't even <laughs> plant anything if I wanted to. So I, I still I planted a bare root tree today. I planted an apricot tree today, and. <gasps> Oh no! The, uh, Rob, two minute warning. Two minutes. <laughs> Went to the local uh, nursery. You have any apricot trees? They said we got one left. I said I'll take it. They go, you're a little late, aren't you? I go, well, if you don't want to sell it to me, you can give it to me. <laughs> oh, we'll sell it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, we are at the 59 minute mark here. So we're going to wrap it up here, but I want to thank everybody sh showing up. I'm glad Debbie got around to, and John got around to showing up. Um, hey, oops. <laughs> anyway, we'll see, uh, Sorry, hopefully see Amy in a month or two. And, uh, 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 as they're getting her homestead back up and running and stuff. And so, uh, yeah. And, uh, I'm going to, probably try to work on getting a, a couple of guests that we can harass so uh, i'll get on the ball here i'm kind of falling behind on our invites and stuff so um but anyway we want to thank everybody that's been watching us uh thank you very much uh if you catch our show after the recording uh make sure and leave comments let us know what you like us to talk about um all of us are all kind of, i can for me it, I, i'm noticing everybody's kind of changing gears and starting to get think about their gardens. So we're going to be talking about gardening a lot more. So anyhow, and if you're interested in pigs, give us a holler. We're all getting in the pig mode a little bit. So anyway, once again, thank all the hosts for uh, being here. And uh, we'll see everybody next week. Bye. But I'd use the graphic if Rev would do his job. Dude. Graphics.
There you go. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.